Hey everybody, how's it going? Bruce with Bowski Studio. We're back at Kenny Watha Park and on my last video I mentioned a scene that I wanted to tackle and paint uh, on another future adventure and here we are today. So let's check it out. If you watch my last video, you'll see that I mentioned about painting these trees and then looking at the lake through the trees. And I think I found a spot to uh, set up and do this. A couple of challenges is going to be the uh, kind of a wild brush right here by the edge when you start to enter uh, down by the lake. But uh, I think I'm going to walk a little closer to the lake and see if I can find a composition with the tree trunks in front and all that sort of thing. So let's take a walk. The reason I want to get closer to the water when I do this is then you get to see the, you know, the other shoreline with the slight hills in the background and higher up where we were before, you kind of lost that a bit. So I'm really going to try to find a composition more on this level. And the trick is going to be, you can see that the tree trunks probably have been trimmed over the years with the lower branches for a view or maybe they broke off but I might have to add some for visual interest so you don't have too many just vertical lines in the composition. Okay we're going to be painting a composition over here and I believe this is a 10 by 12 panel and I painted it previously uh, toned it with a gray tone I like to do that with my panels so it's not pure white and for now, just to knock in the, the value shapes and light and shadow. So when I sun's coming in and out today, so just using some burnt umber to get the sketch down. And then we can get some color on the, on the panel and not have to chase the light. Like I said, I'm just uh, knocking in the horizon line. I'm going to be moving trees around at will, so I don't really am following, I'm not following any particular pattern to these trees. They're not necessarily in the greatest spot for where I want to paint, so I'm just kind of going to make up some locations for them. And I might even add some thinner trees over here because all these solid lines and maybe just a few scragglers to add a little interest, but still working on my value sketch. It's a good way to figure out how you want to position your shapes before you get com committed to color. Now I'm kind of obviously these trees don't exist here but I'm taking little bits of information from over here to my left with this tree to add a little more interest here because I think the idea of this is cool but with too many strong dense verticals it can be a little um, uninteresting so that's what I'm working on right now. Mixing up some cerulean blue, a little bit of uh, yellow ochre, and some white. Sky's not really super saturated today, so I'm going to try this out. And we're going to put a little spot right by the distant mountains. See how that reads. 
kind of liking that. And I still have a little bit of a burnt umber, just slightly in the brush. I've cleaned it a bit, but not terribly a lot. Just want to start cutting around some of these shapes. It's going to be a back and forth process. Because you're kind of fighting the light, chasing the light, I should say. Just want to get some color notations down. And these two mountains over here are kind of similar in height. So I changed the height of this one to make it a little more interesting. Now let's work on some, uh, I got enough of a color tone. I want to start getting some comparisons going for the color of the distant hill. Come along, I'm just trying to get in some shadow tones. Of course, I'm kind of oversaturating the actual tone that I see, kind of experimenting a bit with how to give the illusion of some light and shadow. Usually I go very naturalistic and I might alter this a bit. Little too, a little too yellow. Add a little more blue in there. I want that sense of sunlight. Just give them that impression of few bits of sunlight catching here and there because the tree canopy is quite quite full in the angle of light we got going right now so I'm gonna stick with just suggesting I'm trying to make a little more of a it's got to be believable but I want it to be artistic too I don't want to get too regular with my pattern human mind can tend to do that Couldn't ask for a better day of painting. This is a freaking beautiful day. And now I'm just going to take a second, take a, about two or three minutes and study the painting. But I like how it's coming out so far. The feeling of the spirit of the uh, day. I do have to work on the distant hills and uh, I'll show you this right now. I'm liking the feeling of light. I'm going to work it, obviously, this is the base tone of the burnt umber. that I need to start adding some greens and get some uh, more contrast going in there. But coming along. Kind of liking it. Composition. It's always improvements you can do over time, but I'm just out here kind of trying to get some accurate color notations of nature. And honestly, mostly my plein air paintings aren't about getting a perfect painting. I want to learn. Getting there, getting there. I feel like there's a strong sense of light coming along. Obviously, I've adjusted a few things because of the Lot, you know, time's been passing, so it is what it is. But now I'm going to start working on some of the greens and the trees up top to get that burnt umber color covered up. And again, I'm not looking for super thick paint. And don't forget, I painted the sky behind there, so I got to be careful. Not to get it too murky, so to speak. I'm using some, uh, using some cobalt blue, little yellow ochre. 
a little bit of burnt sienna and just getting some nice dark tone to uh, set off the leaves and of course very busy over there and honestly to be fair I'm not used to kind of painting this stuff and I'm gonna just that's why I'm using the idea of blocking in some general mass tones of shapes the general shapes to try to create some interesting pattern and then I can go in later with the sky color and chisel out sort of the pine needles I don't want to get into that too much with the white paint there so you can see how this would be a challenge if you were painting for a competi competition you gotta you know produce paintings every day for the uh, you know to add up for a three-day event or something so you gotta really kind of strategy you know have a strategy for what subjects you're going to paint to be able to finish them up i suppose i don't know what the rules are in different platforms for plein air festivals but trying to you know like i don't think you're allowed to finish them late at night or something like that who knows so my battery's getting kind of low here but and i've just been honestly i've been enjoying the day it's like perfect weather slight breeze can't complain very nice kind of chill one of these days i want to paint like people in the water too with the reflections into the water love that look but right now i'm just gonna i'm gonna work on the detail over there in the corner those little tree shapes i want to work on that a little bit then i'm going to wrap this up for today and uh move on and i got enough information i took of course a photo at the beginning of the painting so i think i can figure this out back at the studio because I do want to work more obviously on that distant hill some more and got to detail out the shoreline trees I got a good base greenish shape there nice cool green so uh, let's get busy so it's interesting uh, this whole painting has just been using cobalt blue I don't have any ultramarine blue I've kind of been relying on that too much so I wanted to uh, see what would happen if I just kind of uh, limited that sort of selection I'm going to fix this part right in here and uh, call it good. Okay, I'm going to be uh, wrapping this up, running out battery life. And plus, I've uh, been out here for a little bit, just enjoying the day. But here's what I got so far. And I took a picture of the scene ahead of time, but I like the little tidbits of uh, boats and on a distant shoreline, houses. So pretty happy with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Had a lot of fun. It's a super perfect day out. So I just want to take this opportunity while I'm walking back to the car to invite everybody that's been watching the video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. And be sure to hit the bell notification icon. It will let you know when I post new videos. So uh, let me know what you thought. Now it's back to the car and head home. What an awesome time painting. I was really having a good time. The weather is, uh, looks like it says 75 in my car. Totally amazing. Slight breeze. I'm actually contemplating going back there a little bit later today and just chill out and go swimming. We'll see. But I really like how the uh, certain parts of the painting came out. Like, uh, I've still got a lot of finishing to do, of course, with the foreground uh, leaves on the tree and ne pine needles and all that sort of thing. Uh, at the top edge of the painting, but I think I got some really honest color notes and how they relate to each other for the background, foreground, uh, the dappled sunlight, all that. So that's important. And like I previously mentioned, my planar painting, I really not not really looking forward. You know, I don't look for finishing the painting. I want to go out there to let mother nature teach me a lesson or two so that's what i look for when i'm playing air painting all right let's get back to the house and uh, we'll pull it out of the box and spend a few minutes uh, taking a look at it okay i'm back from uh kenny Wather park beautiful like i said beautiful day oh my god still amazing right now and uh we're gonna pull the painting out and take a look at it and let you know what i like and obviously don't like of course it's not finished like i mentioned before i'm not about really working too hard on finishing paintings on site 
I just kind of was going with the flow of the day, met a couple of people there, was talking some creative talks. So it's a really nice experience. But let's take a look at the painting. Okay, so here's the painting. And overall, I'm really liking the tones I captured. Like I mentioned, I'm still going to obviously do work on that distant hill, soften up some edges. I don't like that hard edge. But I'm really happy with how the dappled sunlight kind of effect happened uh, is working out there pretty pretty cool with that still have a lot to do up in here of course but the bones are there and uh, I'll work on it in the studio when I have time to step away study what it needs to be a painting and I'll put more interest in the water just like slight breeze ripples and that sort of idea but yeah it's pretty happy with it